Riding a car on the ice. I'm going on another adventure! <laughs> We're on the ice roads. Go back, ice roads. That's ours, right there. Should I back up into it? No, drive right up to it. Wow. That's big. It's beautiful, man. We got barbecue outside. We got a porta potty. It's huge. We are here, Steve and myself. We're back. On another adventure. <laughs> Just got home from Quinty. And I uh, actually wasn't going to do this trip because I was super tired and then I blew a wheel bearing tonight. Steve still came and picked me up and we're doing a couple nights of ice camping. Not in the, the Otter though, we're actually in some sleeper shacks of Yannick Laranger and uh, he offers a guiding service here close to Rockland, Ontario, right outside Ottawa. And uh, we're going to get on some big burbot hopefully and some walleye, but let's go inside and check this place out. Big shack, 24 feet long by 10 feet wide. It's a monster. Let's go. Oh yeah. Look at this place. We've got sleeping and sleeping and fish cleaning and eating and fishing. Lots of fishing holes, holes, holes. We've got a heater. <laughs> Yo, this is pretty sick. Yeah, this is gonna be good. This is sick. Look at all the rod holders everywhere. Look at the holes everywhere. Everywhere. Cool. This is a heat here to, to heat us up? I guess, but there's already heat oh, going. Oh, there's already heat going yeah. too. I think it's just extra heat. It's a little extra. Okay, let's do some stuff. Okay, guys. So we are here in the shack. Big 50 inch TV here. We got like a satellite box station, garbage station here, sink, cooking arrangements, big heater. I was kind of wondering why we had the buddy heater, but it's just a backup to heat from this. So Yannick actually has like a couple shacks within a close vicinity here and then has uh, one generator in a central location running all these shacks. We got a kitchen area. We got it loaded with gear right now. A little sitting area and then the bunk beds. A bunch of beds, tops and bottoms. And then as you can see right here, these are where, these are where all the holes are gonna be. And there's holes located over here in the corner. And even some like under the sink. Lots of fishing to be had. So we're gonna try to get on the burbot right away here tonight. We're gonna run a jaw jacker each and uh, probably a pout spoon as well. And uh, I'm gonna get them set up and show you guys what we're gonna be using once I get that all dealt with. But right now, we're just gonna get everything dialed. Let's go. All right, so some of the baits we'll be using. We've got eel pout or burbot spoons, frostbite head spinner jigs, frostbite meat head jigs, some tungsten and non-tungsten frostbite dinner bells that we can charge up and glow with some cast and conquer glow cups and we also have the frostbite scissor kicks rattle and blades to help draw them in now the rods we're going to be using the frostbite dipstick that's going to have the meat head jig on it and then the frostbite true grit with the head spinner we're going to have both those rods sitting on jaw jackers in the corners with bells then I'll be jigging here with the Frostbite Digger, that's a 39 medium, with the Frostbite Scissor Kick in Grape. All rods paired with the Diesel 1000 from Frostbite. And then for a big bait, I'm going to have the Frostbite Deadbolt here with that big half ounce eel pout spoon. 10 pound braid, 10 pound fluorocarbon, and that's where it's going to go down. So let's get these tipped with minnows, get these jaw jackers set. Let's get fishing. Well guys, it is time. We got jaw jacker in. I actually forgot one of the jaw jackers. But Jesse's coming with the kids tomorrow, so she'll bring in for the second night. But we got a jaw jacker in with the meat head jig, and then a second rod in a rod holder with the head spinner jig. Then we're gonna jig back here. I'm gonna use the uh, eel pout or burbot spoon glow. We got a big light right here that we're charging baits right now. And Steve's gonna use the frostbite dinner bell. And then uh, we're hopefully gonna get on some big burbot tonight. 
Haven't done burbot since game inches of last year. It's one of my favorite fish to pursue. I just don't get nearly enough time to get out after them. So big thanks to Yannick LaRange at Ottawa River Guide Service, just outside of Ottawa, guys, in Rockland. Super nice sleep cabins. This is a 24 by 10. And like I said, he's kind of got this little village with like a bunch of shacks. We turned the live scope already. We're on a 27 foot steep, steep drop. So absolutely ideal for walleye, burbot, perch, and uh, we might actually even get an accidental catch of like something like a sturgeon or something, seeing as we're gonna be fishing baits on bottom. So you never know what we're gonna get. It's the Ottawa River. And uh, thank you again, Yannick. We'll be going over a little bit more of the shack and the placement of uh, where we're located right now. And hopefully, have some fish for you guys to see in the near future. So enough talking, let's get to fishing. My lure is all charged. We're gonna get that tipped up with minnows. We're gonna get down there. Let's go, let's turn that live scope on, right there on the bed. First catch, mud puppy. What? On the stinger hook? This is not what we wanted to catch first, but it's kind of part of it. Just a big salamander, kind of. Sea dragon. A sea dragon. <laughs> They're such cool fish. Man. Whoa. It's not a fish, it's an amphibian. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's get him back. Can't be catching burbots if you have friggin' mud puppies on your lines. Damn it. Take the other one. They just grab it and they're like, ah, oh, no. <laughs> That was a big bounce. I think we got one on. Feels better than the last one. Don't be a big salamander. It's a Sally. It's a Sally? That same salamander. It's the Sally! <laughs> oh no. It's not what we want. Hey, we gotta hook the salamanders that are down there. This one's really nice color. Throw down another hole. <laughs> Yours. <laughs> no. My puppy video. <laughs> That's not even a fish. <laughs> Sleeping in the shack and catching mud puppies. Mud puppies. Oh my god. Why is my rod bent like that? Oh! What did you do? <laughs> what did you do? I see it right here in your face! <laughs> <laughs> did it get you for a second? For a second! Ah, oh, that hit the floor! <laughs> I was trying to get it set up when you were outside and you came in and I was like down there. I'm like, <laughs> I can't see! Dude, why is my rod bent? <laughs> Joking, my dude. I swear, it's a fish. Hold on. Give me a second, I just hit it off. Please don't be another mud puppy. Might be a burb. It's a mud. It's a burb! It's a burb! <laughs> yeah! Let's go! It's a burb, man. First burb! We got one on, guys. On the pout spoon. So we just had the rod sitting there. The pout spoon. Oh, he's squirmy. That's the first pout. Nice little fish. Ate the minnows. Just hanging dead stick style. We want to eat some, but I don't think there's much meat to get off him. We know, we know we're going to catch some more. Let's wait for a little bigger one to yeah. get some more meat. But that's like, a good sign. First of, first first of the night. night. Salamander. And our first burbot. I could care less about the walleye. Because there are some walleye here to get at night, but get enough walleye and quinty that don't really have to worry about two pounders here. Yeah, we're we are here for these guys. Man, they are probably the hardest fish to hold. Let's go. Let's, Let's get them back. See you later, bud. 
first one. Let's go. Even if it's a small one, Take that's it, sick. Means they're here. They're passing. They're here. You saw so, your rod. You saw your rod tip going bouncing, and I was like, "Please don't be a salamander." So that's what we're using. What I'm using. Steve's using the frostbite dinner bell in a glow as well. But that's just like a pout spoon, a glow pout spoon. We have like a big light right here, and we're just charging it up on. We should have a glow cup and just have our snaps. I'm gonna get mine out actually. Man. Yeah, and then we can have like lures charging all the time yeah, and just exactly. switch our baits up instead of having to sit here, stare at the bait for 10 minutes while it's charging the light. The scale, because I know we're gonna catch scale. it. Scale, 10 pound burp. Look at it, you do. We're <laughs> 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 another baby burbank. Sally. This just gave some noise. Let's see if there's something on there. Dude, it, it gave a good nothing. Yeah. No way. No, give two good bites. Give two good bites on the head spinner. On the head spinner. Get her back down there. There was definitely something there. The bell doesn't go off for nothing. No, no. That's exciting. Watch out for the heater. <laughs> Is there something? I'm waiting to feel if there's any weight. Yeah? Give it to him. Salamander. For sure, he got up right away. No. Sally? I felt them crop right off. Back over here. Good night. We got one. Yes. We were in bed. After a bunch of salamanders. Yeah, we Finally. Finally. Good night. Can't get to sleep because it's just bell after bell. <laughs> on the head spinner. I think we keep that one. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. That'd be a nice little fry on the fry pan. Yeah. If we get three, four like that, it's yeah. a good little snack. It's good. It's Sick. Very good species. Let's go. Oh, shit. Pissed so badly. We're up. What a night. Good morning, everybody. We're getting up. In the sleeper shack right now. It is beautiful outside. The sun is shining, but it is so cold. Fish cooperated a little bit last night. We ended up getting two dirty burbs that we're gonna eat at some point today. We're gonna have some of those. Haven't eaten burbot in a long time, just in some garlic butter. Poor man's lobster. And uh, we're getting dialed right now. We just got all our lines checked, minnows re put on. We're gonna actually try to fish a little bit of walleye right now. Apparently the walleye bite here is pretty good during the day, so. Steve and myself are going to jig, I'll probably jig with a purple scissor kick, a couple of minnows. Steve's going to jig with a buckshot, I think, and uh, we're going to keep our two set lines right here, still fishing on bottom. So let's see what we can do. I think it should be a good day. We should be able to get some fish on. We're having coffee right now. Steve made me coffee in a red solo cup, and it's hot. It's a frozen milk. It's frozen milk. It was cold last night, but we were so, so comfy in the awesome. shack right here. We'll so good. some bells a few times. Yeah, we had lots of bells. Fish were biting, lots of salamanders. And uh, hopefully today we can get something big for you guys. We're really here for the bird, but anything else is a bonus. So let's see what we can do. Let's get some lines in.
Come on. For Sauger, let's go on the Frosty Clownfish. Watch them come up on live scope. I'm just going over and jigging it every now and then. My wife, Jesse, and the kids are on their way. Steve had to leave for a little bit. And uh, Jesse's is bringing her friend Mal and their, her boyfriend Dylan. So we're just going to have a fun day with the kids in the shack. I'm nice and close to home here. Uh, like I said, we're not far out of Rockland, which is only about an hour from my house. So just went over and gave it a little jig. Beauty Sauger. Watched him come up on the live scope and he could not say no to that frosty clownfish. Alright, going back. See you, bud. Nice, first sauger of the trip. Let's go. Watched him come up on that baby right there. Can't miss with that. Hey, honey. Did you come to visit dad? Yeah. In the shack? Yeah. You got some candy, huh? Mm hmm. You dipped into dad's collection? Yeah. Who's coming in right now? Mommy. And Mel. Hi. And Mel. And Mel and Sophia. Look how much candy Hey, Pia. Hey, Mel. Hi. Candy she just woke up. Everybody Whoa. came to visit. They found my stash, eh? Odie's still sleeping. I brought you some. I, I bought like a big jar of candy for Aww. you. <laughs> Thanks. Are you guys playing with minnows? Yep. Is this minnow? Wow. Oh, you had one, Ode. Oh, buddy. Show me, Ode. Show me the fish. Yeah. To the whirlpool. To the minnow. Fish number two. Look at the size of that guy. Split dorsal monster. Should have got you to reel that one in, eh, honey? Yeah. Would have been a perfect one for you. You want to hold him or let him go? No, we should keep him for dinner. He's a little <laughs> bit small. Um, He's kind of like a minnow. Um, yeah, we should let him go. Yeah? Want to let him go down this hole? Careful, he's got the spikies. Push it down with your hand like that. Grab on, dude. Right here. I'll hold it down. Put grab on. Put right down the hole. Bye, guy. Good job, hon. High five. I don't want to stand on that. Yeah. You must remain okay. cautious at all times because it can easily run us. That's part of the challenge. Nice. All right, the little update. It's been a long day. There has not been too much fish biting. But the thing that is consistent is nice little saugers on that tantrum. That clown color has just been killing it today. We actually saw a couple fish in the last, I don't know, half an hour. We've seen three fish, and I haven't seen a fish since I caught those two little sauger that were comparable to this guy. Earlier, such nice patterns though. They got those, compared to the walleye, they have those nice like dots all up the dorsal fin there. And that like almost like camel pattern to them. Just a cousin of the walleye. We're gonna get this down for getting to 4.30 now. Like we've been relaxing all day, super comfy. Kids came over, watching TV. We did drop a charger down the hole. My daughter ran across from bunk to bunk with her iPads, towing the cord. 20,000 amp power charger gone down the hole, but all the way to bottom. But the fish are still biting, so they don't seem to mind that it's down there. So 
That's a good sign. We're going to get this little guy back and uh, hopefully we can get a bunch of bourbon tonight and maybe a few more of these guys. Bye-bye. Alright, so we came to do another tour of the shacks. Yannick here at the uh, Ottawa River Guided Fishing has five different shacks. Ours is a 24 by 10 and this one is actually 20 feet by 12, much wider. Amazing sleeping arrangements. He's got bunk bed systems, four holes in the floor right here, Hole, holes all up the floor on that side, big table, kitchen, cooking area, every shack has a TV. He's got memory foam on all the beds, super comfy. Sink, cooking stations, coffee pots. These are set up. Amazing, amazing place to stay. And uh, through the week, it's $80 a night a person for these shacks. And on the weekends, $250 a person. And you have everything you want. I was taking a look at some of the pictures here. Some really nice walleye that have been caught. It's like a nine pounder right here. Some big walleye. Accidental catches of sturgeon. Some nice burbot. And he's got rod holders set up on all these holes. And yeah, big shout out to Yannick for letting us come and stay. And uh, we still got one more night, so we're hoping tonight we can get on some burbot. We're gonna install all those bells. It's like uh, three o'clock right now, kids just left. And uh, hopefully we can get into some. Have some supper, relax a bit, watch some hunting and fishing on the satellite TV. And uh, yeah, big shout out to Yannick. Thanks so much. I will be back. And uh, let's go get back to fishing. Let's catch some big fish, it's time. So we like heard splashing in the hole and we look into my hole. I actually thought it was like gonna be a muskrat that was rolling. And this sauger was just swimming in my hole. <laughs> so I reached down and grabbed him before he swam down. I guess that counts as a catch. That's hilarious. By hand. We're gonna get him back and uh, hopefully get a big girl soon. All right, all right, all right. Got a nice burb on that meathead jig right there. A stinger on the back. I was sleeping, like I was gone. Dylan, my wife's really good friend's boyfriend. I ended up staying when the kids and everybody came today and Dylan woke me up just now and he's like, Andrew, Andrew, there's a jaw jacker. And I was like, oh, would you look at that? Bye bye. I'm back to sleep. Well, good morning. It's been a long night with a lot of that. Not a lot of fish. We only had one burbot all night. We weren't getting up for the bells right away and I think there was a lot of salamanders around. But we just got up, and the head spinner tipped with the minnow, got smoked. I missed him in the rod holder, and then dropped it back down, and he ate it again. First fish in the morning. So we've had four burbot, four saugers, and five salamanders the first night. Luckily, no salamanders last night, which I think, like I said, a lot of that all night was salamanders. But it was a really good night. We slept so good. He's Yannick has memory foam on all the beds right now and uh, sleeping bag. I didn't even have a pillow and I was out. So we woke up. It's like 8.30. I fell asleep. I think it was 10.30. And uh, we're going to enjoy a little bit of fishing today and some coffee this morning. And we'll probably head home around noon or so. So still got a couple hours left. Could still get a big fish. We saw some monsters swimming around yesterday. But comfort wise, this is the perfect place to bring the family, a bunch of friends, and just hang out and chill. You got the TV, you can play cards, games at the table, and uh, sleeping is absolutely great. It's nice and warm. 
and it's really close to Montreal and Ottawa so good for anybody living in those areas that want to come explore and check out the Ottawa River definitely hit up Yannick at Ottawa River Guided Fishing he will get you guys set up great spot nobody around you like we're the furthest cabins away from on the ice road and uh, yeah you got it all to yourself so hit, hit them up if you guys want to do some ice camping it's really affordable and uh, it's really comfortable and the annex are great guys so let's get back to fishing enough blabbering let's go let's go I'm gonna get this guy back he got him. well guys that is gonna wrap it up we had a really good time uh, we ended up doing two nights this is our third day, and uh, we got on some burbot, we got on some sauger. I think we lost a walleye in the hole this morning. Lots of bites and missed opportunities. But we're here more relaxing and just hanging out, and uh, Yannick has an amazing, amazing establishment here. Uh, like I said, just outside of Ottawa, located in Rockland, Ontario, and really not far from Montreal either, so really stationary place here in the middle of everything, and uh, right off the Ottawa River, great fishing. And we got onto some fish, burbot, we ended up having four, and we had four, five, four, five uh, saugers, and uh, five salamanders the first night. But all in all, great, great fishing, and uh, big shout out again. I can't say it enough. Thank you, Yannick. And we're wrapping everything up now, so thanks for checking out this week's video, guys. And until next week, don't forget, go down below. Hit that subscribe button, give a big thumbs up, and uh, we got some more winter camping to come later in the season. We'll be going to Nipissing, so this isn't the end of the winter camping. Let's go. Thanks again. Yeah.